WWE, I want you to listen to me. It's your boy, the botch guy. And today we're going to be talking about nobody other than the Kabuki Warriors. One of the worst names in the WWE, but probably the hottest thing going right now in wrestling. So let's have some time, have a coffee, grab some beer, Molson Canadian, Corona, whatever you like. And let's talk a little bit about the transition, the evolution of Kyrie Sane and Asuka. First, we need to talk about Asuka. When she joined NXT and joined the WWE, the hype was real. Everybody was ready to see what she had. And she absolutely dominated down on NXT, got called up, won every match basically in WWE for a really long stretch. And then it all turned around. Kyrie Sane, when she was hired on NXT in the WWE, she debuted in the Mae Young Classic. And let me tell you, she absolutely opened eyes, not just from her looks, but her wrestling style, her cute demeanor, her cute gimmick. Everything about her was really refined and genuinely exciting. So when she got a call up, to the main roster, people were really excited to see what's going to happen with Kyrie Sane. Asuka started to lose some steam. Unfortunately, the booking and creative messed up like holy hell. And for some reason, Asuka started to lose matches left and right against Carmella, against Charlotte. She could not win a match after absolutely dominating. So she started to be irrelevant in the WWE right after being completely dominant. Kyrie Sane, on the other hand, had a great run on NXT. And she was showing everybody that she has a diverse set of talents that would transition really well in the WWE, and eventually she did get her call up. So Vince McMahon, Vince, I'm talking to you right now. What you did, when you put them together, because the rumors are that you are the one who went to Triple H, talked to Triple H, and asked for Asuka and Kyrie Sane to be put together was one of the most brilliant things you could have done. But even after they were put together, there was obviously one big problem. And that problem everybody knows is unfortunately they do not have the mic skills quite yet in the WWE to really sell storylines. So they decided to add somebody like Paige. When Paige was running the show, immediately they started to get a little bit more creativity and a little bit more action on TV, and they finally have someone to do the speaking for them. But now they were still faces, baby faces in the company, and they were starting to get generic. They weren't getting many reactions, and there was something missing. So then Triple H apparently went to Vince McMahon because the Vince idea was to put them together, but it was Triple H's idea apparently to start using the poison mist with Asuka, turn her heel, not just on Paige, but to on everybody. And Kyrie Sane, who is one of the cutest people maybe on this earth, has to find a way. So what did the WWE do? They turned them heel, they changed their look, they changed their costume, and they have become the hottest thing going in wrestling. So WWE, I want you to listen to me. The botch guy knows best. So please put your ear to whatever headset, microphone, ear jack you have. And I want you to listen to me right now. The Kabuki Warriors potentially could be one of the bigger tag teams in your company. So all you need to do now is give them the creative freedom 
to use their gimmicks at the top level and they will reach where you want them to go because they are an immensely talented group. And I want to know what you guys think in the comment section. What do you think about the Kabuki Warriors? Do they have the potential to be top stars in this company? And what's your opinion on the big gimmick change? Thank you, everybody. Take care.